If you have an automobile, it's got to have fuel to keep it going. We live in a system that's sort of like a machine. It's got to have fuel to keep it going. In this particular debt society, it's called consumer debt. That's at a dead end. These big banks, their gasoline are monthly payments. When you pay that car payment, when you pay that house payment, you keep on fueling that system. I was going to hold off on saying this. The mother people started off with a religious topic. This isn't necessarily trying to preach religion, but if you look in Leviticus chapter 25, it says every 50 years you should have a jubilee and declare all debt null and void. Hallelujah. Think about who it would affect the most. Everybody's going to take a little cut. That sword cuts both ways. You got to be owing more than what somebody owes you. And I think most of the 99% is in that bracket. The only ones that's really going to hurt are those people right there. The top 1% don't get their check every month. The worldwide, if this is really true, a worldwide loop from to here square to China to here to there. Tell everybody, worldwide, after January 1st, no more payments to nobody. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> up as an article, first time I ever tried to write something online, and it's op-ed news yesterday. Fleshed out all the details. Wall Street, any business, corporation, big enough to be traded on Wall Street should go into oblivion. Anything smaller than that, mom and pop, we're not communists, we're still wanting to prosper and have trade and commerce. Right on. But let's level the playing field. If you own something now, it's still yours. We're not trying to do away with property rights for people working. You still got to work. But the playing field's level. Corporations be broke up. If you work there at McDonald's, I'm just picking somebody. McDonald's. You work there, that's your restaurant. You and everybody there share the whole thing equally. That was a corporate asset. Now it's yours. Woo! Woo! Yeah, yeah! This one's real quick, and he talks about fire, so I thought about something else. There's a quote from Pema Children that says, We must go, this is a paraphrase, we must go through the fires of, of reality and of that which challenges us so that we can find that within ourselves which is indestructible.